Okay, so here is our Chrome Music Lab SongMaker grid. It kind of looks a little weird right now, but it'll look a little bit more friendly by the end of the video. When I first saw this layout, I had no idea what I was looking at, so I just started clicking around the screen like this. Then I realized that these are all different pitches, these boxes. And if you click all these pitches in order, starting on this note right here, the C, you get all the natural notes just shy of two octaves. Now that's pretty cool. And if I press this play button over here, all these notes will be played at once. And then the subsequent notes will be played left to right. The grid is sectioned by half beats or eighth notes here. So you count it like one and two and three and four and. It goes on for a total of four measures here. Each section or each measure here is a different shade. So it kind of uh, separates everything for you so you can see it a little bit better. You can change the length of the measures and the beats and the subdivisions um, in the settings, which we'll talk about in a couple minutes. So if I wanted to create a melody, I would go like this. Now, if that's a little too fast, I could slow it down by using this tempo meter over here. What you're hearing now is a marimba, but I can change it to other instruments by clicking the button over here. I can even add some percussion by clicking this button here. Right now it's set on electronic, kick drum, and a snare. Check it out. And I can toggle through the different drum instruments. So I'm going to try creating something using a synth and an electronic drum set. I'm going to clear what I have done on my grid already by hitting restart at the top of your screen. And you can save your project anytime by hitting the uh, save button at the bottom of the screen over here. So I want to make a chord, which is more than one note being played at once. I'm going to start on my C note here and make a C major chord. And I want it to play for the entire first measure. So I'm going to start with my first note here, and I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and drag the mouse over the rest of the tiles. Then I'm going to try and just experiment with some different chords and just have some fun. Let's see how that sounds. Alright, now I want to add some percussion to it. I'll do something like kick drum on one and three, and then maybe snare hit on two and four. Something just general like that. Alright, and we'll have that pattern just keep going for the whole four measures. Actually, let's take out the kick here on the three. See how that sounds. No, not bad. Maybe I'll add it in on the end of three, uh, maybe every other measure. Now I kind of want to add a melody on top and see how that sounds.
if you want to record your voice on top of your composition, you can click the mic option here and just sing along while your composition plays. All right, if you check the settings, you can change the length of your composition up to 16 bars long. You can have as many as seven beats per bar or as little as two. So that's pretty much changing the time signature of your piece. You can also divide the measures into different subdivisions. Uh, we had eighth notes before, two is for eighth notes, three is for triplets, and four is for 16th notes. You can pick which scale you want, major, chromatic, or pentatonic. You can choose what note you want the grid to start on here. We've been choosing C for our starting note. And you can pick whatever range you want, up to three octaves. I'm going to create another example here using some alternate settings. I want to do a 12 bar blues. So I'll change my bar numbers here to 12 bars. I want four beats per bar. Divide each measure into triplets to get that shuffle feel. And I'm going to work with the chromatic scale. So I have all kinds of possibilities of notes. So that's pretty much it folks, this is Chrome Music Lab Song Maker. Start experimenting and having fun, see what you can come up with, and don't forget to click subscribe and hit that thumbs up for more guitar and music education related content. Talk to you soon.